just a very short ceremony where as World Vision we went to hand over a few items. Uh, this afternoon we have just handed over some materials that are essential for the fight against COVID-19. As World Vision we did not remain behind. We started moving with other stakeholders, we started moving with government and all other stakeholders. We have been participating in the academic preparedness meetings and discussing and finding, uh, putting our heads together to find the way forward as we fight against so, COVID-19 uh, in the Now, the donation that came from Bankers Association of Zambia. So what Bankers Association of Zambia did was to lift these items, hand them over to World Vision, and say they let these items go to World Vision Operation Area. These items were allocated to health centers. For us here, yeah, for people of Katete, we have had a lot of challenges. You saw the way how we are actually struggling, you know, trying to source in um, all these materials that we could actually find. COVID-19 together and uh, today indeed just to receive in such a kind of a donation that is coming in from World Vision uh, I wish to say uh, we are so grateful and thankful to World Vision uh, I think this is what a true partnership is we don't have a lot of partners who are coming on board to help us these donations they're really helping us <laughs> this will go a long way in, in infection uh, prevention control to our members of staff, as well as uh, preventing the spread of the infection to the clients and patients that they serve. So here at Kaslinga District and me here at Mazima Rural Health Centre, we have received the items that were given to us by World Vision and we are using them so wisely and just um, happy that now the things are in our hands and we'll be using them for the benefit of ourselves as staffs and the communities that we'll be handling during this COVID-19. put things in place before schools open. We ensured that schools had enough friends. The Ministry of Education has worked with us to conduct lessons on the radio. And the children have been responding. You know, sometimes it has been live phoning program. They are teaching, but it's a live phoning program. And we have had children phoning in and responding to the questions that are being asked, which has been so amazing for us. Receiving support from World Vision, and World Vision is emphasizing on literacy. And for us to achieve literacy, learners have to go class. And for them to attend class, they need all these protective uh, clothing that we need to give them so that they can be in class, so that that literacy can be achieved. And as a department and as a nation, we want a nation that can be able to read and write. And that is what we are emphasizing on. Thank you, World Vision, for that support as we continue. we have done would have not been possible without you, our donors. So we say thank you very much for supporting these communities. In fact, with all these measures we have put in place, we have not recorded any single case from our catchment areas. All these thanks to you, our donors. <laughs>